All right, guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going over character and paragraph styles. These are awesome for saving time when you're trying to change multiple layers, as you're going to see uh, by the end of this. And um, it's great for remembering what settings you have set up for different fonts. Um, so let's jump right in. First thing you can do is add these two panels. We've got paragraph and character style. You can go up to window character style and then paragraph style if it doesn't show up and that will give you both of these a uh, quick note on the differences with these if you go into paragraph styles we've got all these different options on the left with our indents composition uh, different things that you normally would use for a paragraph setup plus all of our font options if we go into character styles and i'll need to add a new one it shows you the character style or the character and font differences but also notice there's nothing here on the left so we're going to be working with the character styles today because I don't have paragraphs set up I've just got individual words um, let's go ahead and delete this and we're going to change all of them to set these up and then I'll show you how you can change it with multiple layers um, a, another option you have if you're working with typography is you can change from the essentials to the typography option if you have it uh, but if you've updated and have the latest version of Creative Cloud uh, there's just this type window that you can go into which will add the correct panels that you need and all of that fun stuff so alright let's get in so open up your character styles we're going to click on our headline layer and we notice that this plus icon has come up so I want you to keep that in mind as we add this new one. So we'll add a new one, a new character style, and click on this. That has given us an option. Do we want to keep the changes that we've made, or do we want to clear override, which is this option, which will go back to whatever this none setting was? And we haven't set anything for the none style. So what we want to do is we want to clear that and go in and see what the settings are of this actual font. So let's double click. We're going to name this headline and we're going to set all the options. Uh, Open Sans is the font that I'm using. I want it to be bold and notice you get a live preview here. We're going to do 315 uh, pixels, tab our way through and for the color we're going to do 333 that will automatically add six threes across. Uh, we're not going to change any of these. We're going to click OK. Now we've got this character style titled headline. Okay, let's go down to our title layer. And what I want to do is I want to click on this character style. I don't want to change it, but I want to add a new one and bring the settings from that headline character style to the new one. So yes, I do want to change this with the headline settings. I'm going to click the check mark. Double click on this and we're going to do title. Go to our other option here. Let's see, open sands, where are you? There you are. Okay, and for this one, I will do, let's do a bold text. We'll do 150, tab our way through here. And I'm gonna do a little bit lighter, let's see, 60, 60, 60. All right, click okay. Now we've got title. Okay, let's change this. Now we're gonna to go to our text layer. We wanna add a new layer, double click on this, click our check mark. That's going to go back to this none setting. If you remember, we haven't set anything there, and it's like a 12-point font original. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and double-click on this, and we're going to change it to text. We'll do our same settings. We'll go to Open Sans. Now remember that when you're setting this up, you're going to have to do these initial steps in the beginning, but it's going to save you a lot of time. Just remember that. Okay, now let's change our hyperlink. Now I want to show you something. Let's say we take a different approach. Let's say we add a new style. We go to character style and we click this clear override. Okay, since we don't have anything set in this none option, it's not going to change anything because we haven't made any setting changes for this specific layer. So let's go back and go from our headline. Okay we grab the settings from this because this font was already blue this one was black but we want to create a new one so let's go down to this character style and notice it goes right back okay we want to clear the override because we don't want to take those settings but 
if I click the check mark, I haven't applied any settings to it anyway. So let's go in and set these up. We're going to call it hyperlink. And we're going to use open sans. We'll do bold. Same, we'll do the same size as this text and we'll do it to a nice blue. All right, click OK. And we're going to do an underline. All right, so now we've got all these settings changes. You got all these different character styles set up. So I'll drop this down and we'll go in here and create a couple new layers. New layer. How about we do new text layer? All right. And we're going to duplicate that. We'll bring it down. We'll call this second hyperlink. And then we'll just do a new t different title. Okay. Now I've got all these set up, but they're just the standard font. So I can select each one of these and it will apply those character styles. Let's open this back up to each one of those texts. So let's say I want all three of these layers to be the same as the title text. I can click, select all three of them, and then click on title. Now it's trying to change my character style. I don't want to do that. So I can click clear override and that will set these up to the same as the title layer. We'll set those up so you can see them a little better. Okay, space these out a little bit. They're a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll hide these. All right, now what we can do is go into, let's say different title, okay? This is our character style since we've already got it set up. Let's do a different one and we'll make it look like a headline. Okay, notice how that, it's a little big, but notice how it changes that. And go to my title, go to my text, go to my hyperlink, and change each different character style as whatever that formatting is. Then let's say I want to do all three of these to a headline. I can change it. That simple. So I'll bring these back up open. Let's take these a little smaller. All right, then we got second hyperlink. Click on hyperlink, it will change the formatting. Okay, so it's a real quick way to go in, change multiple text layers if you'd like to do that. Um, if you're working with paragraphs, you can take the enti entire paragraph and change that. Um, an easier way that if you get confused on using it, kind of like I was, um, you can actually go into the text layer. So let's say second hyperlink open up your text tool and highlight that and then select your hyperlink. You can do that as well and it will change the settings for you. Um, but other than that, you can go through all of these different ones and change all of the settings. If you ever want to change the styles that are set up, just double click. You can change the font size, all the weights and everything in there. So hope that was informative and I will see you in the next one.